Hello, Irish Channel USA. I am husband. Uh, today, we're going to be working on two Wagner uh, waffle irons. They're pretty clean, but they got a little rust to them. And these are the Wag Wagner Sydney This is a 1408, post 1925. And has, this one has the wire handles and what they call the low base that sits over your burner. And for anybody who's questioning, will it work on electric burner? It will. See? It sits over there just like that. All right. the other one. Uh, both of these are number eight size. Uh, both of them, this is a 1910. Uh, and I don't see the patent number on this one anyway this one needs to be run through and cleaned a little more it's got some pollen in it this one is sitting on a deck as a uh, show show piece for a while but it has the high base it also has uh, some handles that have seen better days so we are going to take the handles off because you don't season the handles because the wood will crack and the brass will crack and that's probably the reason they have messed up the way they are but there are some people that make reproductions of these handles and I will see what's the best option a little bit later that's a spike handle it just spikes on like a file some of them screw on last one I had was a screw on so I was wasting a lot of time there You get one they shouldn't be too hard to get off because they are designed to come off but you can see the discoloration there so we're going to bag these parts separately this one we can just scrub out it's not really in that bad a shape and this one's not in bad shape at all really so we're going to bag these smaller pieces get the rest of this crud off and then we'll come back to it and film us seasoning these uh, we are wiping this down with oil. We have the oven heating up to uh, 300 degrees. We're going to start it. I like to put it in when it's kind of a lower heat and slowly heat up so it's not to shock, you know, shock anything. But um, got one coat on here on this one. And I'm going to put some more on here. And uh, we've done the base, uh, but I got to put a little oil in here. So I'm probably going to just pour a little bit into the first one that I'm doing after I wipe the outside of this one. And uh, you can see the Wagner wear pattern comes out very well. This one had some pitting on it. And it's got a little bit of the old seasoning on there. I do know where this one came from, so I'm not too worried about the old seasoning. The inside is cleaned out all the way down to the bare key on this part is just have a little bit of oil on all of it. Now I'm going to pour just a little bit. Into there. And we'll mix it all around. And if there's any left, we'll pour it in the other one. All we're using is regular old cooking oil for this one. I've used canola oil, I've used peanut oil, I've used uh, Crisco, even use regular lard. But for what this is, it seems to be just as well. You have a little bit more in here if you want. This is what the oil burning off and carbonizing what makes them smoke key is you just want to make sure every bit has some oil in it. And take out the paper. Yeah, don't get dirty. I'll do that. Do the fine part. It's a little easier if you 
if you do what I said to do, not what I was doing. You just kind of mix it in that way. And then you dab it to get all the little corners. And then you pour it from one into the other to get all the pieces. I do this over a towel to catch anything that may drip out. And then, almost have it all covered. I see a nice little sheen of oil everywhere. Pour the rest back in here and we'll use that for our second wipe down. Open the stove. There you go. All right, it's time to take take our pan out after an hour of seasoning. So let's see what it looks like. This is our base. Set it over here to cool. Looks nice. Look at that. Looks new now. This is oh, a wow. little bit too much oil on there still. See, it's right there. All right. After one hour, uh, I've scalded them, taking the extra out, which isn't the best idea, but it does work if the pan's thick enough. We took some of the extra oil out. It's still sticky. We still got some extra oil in here. It's going to have to carbonize off. And so we're going to uh, re, re wipe them a little bit, make sure it's nice and easy. And then we're going to put them back in for the second seasoning. Um, usually, three is enough to get it uh, started. Be really careful because you are heating them up hotter than you normally do, than you would ever use these for cooking and you can get burned even through your little gloves. All right, back looks good. We're going to put a little bit more oil on the back. Use a brush this time. Sometimes it comes out a little golden color. This kind of depends. Uh, remember, when you're doing waffle irons, if you're doing the uh, ring type these little spring handles spring handles are not cast iron they're steel they get hotter they will burn you because they burn to me and you're no special more special than me but they will take a little bit I mean you can still put a little bit of a seasoning on them and they do help a little bit when their normal operating temperatures cooling off. I'm gonna set this over here. I'm gonna put these back in. Now let's look at the base. Base looks good. Uh, I'm going to just put a little bit, a little bit of brushed oil on there, and then I'm going to flip it upside down, and we're going to put it back in. Remember, the bale is not cast iron either. The reason I'm emphasizing that is the bale is steel. It will get hotter faster than the cast iron, which means it will burn you. All right, they're back in for another hour. Now, before you go, take a look at this one here. This is one we did last year. This is a Griswold made New American number nine which is one size larger than the one we have. This is a low base. 
and this has wooden pinned handles. You put a little nail in right there. And I ordered these handles from a, these are reproduction handles. And just put a little furniture pin right there. And this is one that we use on our stove when we make waffles. It's all original and it was in worse shape than any of these that we've just done. Our recently seasoned pans. We've used this one once before. And it's a Griswold. And this is the Wagner that I kind of over seasoned, but we're going to use it anyway. Let's see how we do. Alright, you can see this is the first waffle. I didn't fill it all the way up, didn't spread it out well because I haven't done this in a while, but uh, medium heat, about three minutes, uh, four minutes, something like that, and you get a waffle. This is on our Griswold number nine, and this was the first waffle on the, Wag the Wagner, this is the first waffle that's probably been on that thing in 40 years, uh, Wagner number eight, uh, that's right here. And we already have another one down. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> this is the second one out of the uh, number nine. And it came out clean. And just to let you know, I did use Pam on the first one. I did not on the second. Once you get the heat temperature up, it comes out a lot cleaner. And uh, does a lot better.